Hello, my name's Grimord, and I'm going to be recording The Binding of Isaac for my new channel that I'm starting. Now, um, I have played The Binding of Isaac before after seeing it on some YouTube videos, um, and I've played a little bit of the Raffalan myself. Got to a certain point, but I'm going to start again, delete my save, and I'm going to go through it with you guys, giving some running commentary as I go along. Um, this is my first ever talk over commentary uh, for a YouTube video, so you will have to excuse me. And also my voice is very hoarse at the minute as well, so I should get progressively better sounding uh, as the v these videos go on. So I'm just going to jump straight into it with Isaac here, with, like I say, no items from before. So I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, my real name's Ben, and I live in, in England, in a little town called Norwich in the east of England. I um, played gaming pretty much my whole life, been a massive gamer, big PC gamer. But um, yeah, never really got into recording. Always wanted to, but not had the time with work and that sort of thing. So I'm gonna try and commit to this now, depending on how things go. Um, do a bit of a let's play series on possibly this and uh, some other stuff. Um, I've got uh, like playing Guild Wars, playing a few things like that at the minute as well. So might do a bit of a let's let's look at Guild Wars at some point and a few other games coming out, uh, this game called FTL which I'm really interested in and uh, a few other games, some stupid damage there a few other games um, yeah, which is coming out shortly uh, one of them being Torchlight which I'm, I'm very hopeful for us. but yeah so I think like I say what I'll do is I'll start building up uh, the channel with some videos like of this and some small games like this which I can get a full let's play in and um, yeah, we'll go from there really. So we're gonna fight Sloth here. I'm really had good items here so far. These silkworms are very annoying. So is Sloth himself. Getting one of the silkworms there though. So I'm um, yeah, I played this up to a point. Um killed Mum quite a few times quite easily, but uh I never realised that I had to kill the demon boss which I um, never got round to doing so I just thought oh, I couldn't progress and I was like what's going on but I could uh, just need to kill the demon boss um, but yeah we're going to fight Gemini here there we go check that there's poison bomb there Bob's right on head so yeah I'm I'm okay at it my, my reactions aren't too bad with games like this so hopefully we can progress somewhat we're going to go down into the basement, like I say, with very, very poor items, but health upgrade is always much appreciated. I'm going to guess most people who watch this video is somewhat familiar with the Binding of Isaac. Um, so hopefully I won't need to explain too much. But just for people who don't really know what it's about, it's uh, by Lim McMillan, uh, very famous. He's famous for uh, games like Super Meat Boy and that sort of thing, really, really great mind. Um, has people like Danny B working with him for his music and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, this because here his interpretation based on a lot of stuff which he fought from childhood and that sort of thing. And uh, you see it in a lot of his earlier games. He's actually just released a pack on Steam, I believe, with a lot of his early, early games um, in the pack. So. If you want to have a look at his work, you can do definitely. But and this has been out for quite a while now, and um, got released with the Wrath of Lamb expansion uh, quite a while back as well, which had a load of new things. And yeah, it's just a really good dungeon crawler, I suppose it would be classed as. Lots of content to it, and it's a very difficult game, which is what I like about it. You, it's going to take you a while to to get good at this sort of game. You can see I played for a while and make silly little mistakes, and that's all it takes. And you soon start seeing your health go down and that sort of thing. That's a good range upgrade from Mum's lipstick there. Not really that important. You're just going through these rooms. Um, they really go in the self-sacrifice rooms too much, to be honest. As as much as I want to, it's just not really beneficial. I don't think so. Oh, so wooden spoon is never never a bad item speed upgrade but sometimes that does hinder you with the later levels when you start getting spikes and that sort of thing as well you start walking into your own things 
But yeah, self-sacrifice rooms are. If I've got the, um, oh, that's really nice of you, uh, fast there. Yeah, if you've got the the health, they're good to go in. But uh, blood banks are better, to be fair. Better risk reward sort of process. I can go down to probably about one star here, because like I say, I've got the ability to beat the the boss is only the seller too. Blow the tainted rock up as well, and how the hell did that not die? Oh well. If we get any further hearts, we can come back to this, but just now, gonna kill these spiders. The thing which really annoys me about spiders is all of a sudden they'll do like a massive jump like that, see? And they jump so small, and then all of a sudden they'll do this big jump, and that always catches you out, and they'll always get you with that. Ah, this is Gemini, so I actually told you the wrong boss, but we'll check the poison bomb. Bob's right head isn't actually that bad, bearing in mind radioactive spider. That's good. And that gives you quad shot. Um Yeah, bearing in mind it does poison damage and a lot of initial damage as well, so that's not too bad. Uh deal of the devil room, nothing really worth picking up to be honest. Guppy's poor is just gonna give me more spirit hearts, so I think we'll just go straight down to the next level and uh, go into the caves. I haven't really bothered looking for a secret room. We might look, look on this level and also if we get an extra key we might go to the shop and that was really poor dodging by myself then. These nutsack flies, really annoying. So yeah, um, my kind of YouTube influences if we kind of talk about where that comes from. I f follow people like um, Northern Lion. I watch the odd Total Biscuit one and I like his kind of aggressive negativity on most videos. I find that quite entertaining. Uh, but I'm probably going to take a slightly different approach. Um, I also like Nerd Cubed. He's become quite popular of late. I follow a bit of the Yogscast as well and a few of the guys on there. But again, not really my style. Although I am quite silly and I might have some friends come. Might do some Minecraft videos but that seemed too obvious of a starting point really so just thought I'd start with a little game here and go from there. But could always do a let's play of uh, Minecraft if people wanted. The thing I'm going to have to get used to, I think, is talking to myself because I might even die here actually. Because uh, it's a very odd habit, I suppose, to get into. But I'm going to get trapped here, aren't I? Um. Yeah, so it's always a bit weird kind of having a conversation with yourself, I think, especially initially. Well, I'm sure I'll probably get used to it, but um, yeah, it's just kind of these conga lines are being real pain. Um, yeah, it's just a case of getting used to it, really, I think, but it shouldn't be too difficult. I'm going to use a bomb to get a heart here, I think that's a fair, fair trade in this situation. Uh, oh, got half heart as well. So yeah, I'm still looking for the secret room on this one. Yeah, also, like I say, I've, I've suffered from a throat and chest infection of late, so my voice is a bit hoarse anyway. But that is kind of give me a, a reason, because I've got a week off because of it, to actually get started on this. And like I say, it's something I wanted to do. I'm going to be looking at some help as well from a, a, any followers. Like I say, I'm not going to be massively massively one way in my video so I don't know what kind of followers I'm gonna gonna attract but I'm gonna do this for me I'm not gonna really pay too much attention to negative comments about what games I play and all this sort of thing obviously I'll pay attention to what games you want me to play but I'm not gonna you know listen to comments from people saying oh don't play this I don't don't enjoy that because you know you don't have to watch it if you don't enjoy it so you you know, you're actually making that choice to watch that video, which you don't have to do. But, yeah, I mean, like I say, I think um, I'll quite happily play a lot of these type small games. Uh, I haven't got a console at the moment, so console games are really, I say, out of the question. Not because I want them to be, but just purely because my console is not active at the moment. I've always been a bit more of a PC gamer as well. Uh, that's another thing because I don't know why I just well I say I've always been a bit more of a PC game I'm going to use the key to go in the shop here but 
I originally did start out with uh, consoles and that sort of thing. Start out on the the very old systems. I'm only really 23, so I can't pretend to be too old. But um, yeah, started out on them, and then eventually worked my way onto the PC. Um, at a land that's really poor. Uh, a land gaming centre in my uh, in my city here, and um, that doubles bombs, I think. Oh, doubles keys. That's all right. Um, yeah, and I just moved on to PCs, and I, I just prefer the variety of games on there. To be fair, most stuff you can get on the PC anyway, which you can get on on your console. Um, so that has played a massive part. That was good. A good shot. Um, but yeah, uh, possibility that I might um, play some console games if I get get big enough, I suppose, to um, get the the actual people wanting me to play it and wanting to see that. But I mean, a lot of the games which I would play on console, like Dark Souls, uh, Trials Evolution of late, they've all come out anyway on the uh, on the PC, or at least been announced on the PC anyway. Let's range up. That's not too bad. Justice. Another spirit heart. A couple of spirit hearts in there, which is quite nice, and a few keys. So we're going to go down here into the caves. We keep forgetting. I'm only going to have to face the foot of Mum at the minute. Um, yeah, any damage upgrades or anything at the minute as well, which is a bit of a pain. Also got to unlock the characters. One of my favourite characters in the Binding of Isaac is um I was gonna say Isaac, but that's not it. It's Kane. Um I really do like Kane, uh, with his increased luck and that sort of thing. It means every pill you're gonna get is gonna almost count as an upgrade and that's annoying damage to take and that was annoying damage to take as well. Um Yes, Kane is probably my favourite I would say, but Isaac is always a good safe bet to go back to you know what you get with Isaac, there's no no penalties, you're not going to be amazing, it is all down to shouldn't have used a bomb there, because that would have happened automatically um, do crit make me move slow, yeah you know what you get with Isaac, like I say it's all based on your pickups and how you play more so than probably any other character, I'm going to use the sun here, because that's it's going to give me a heal, pride is a nice easy sin Except when he does that. Oh, nearly. See, so we're just going to kill him. Going to keep searching for the boss room. This might nearly get me. That's nice void in there. And another two of clubs. Two of clubs. Which, no, sorry, an uh, actual two of clubs. So I had the two of spades before, which doesn't. Oh, that's nice of you. Don't want to get too many spiders out here, so going to try and get these nubs down as quick as possible. There's a spider, but he's on that side. I see this one going shortly. There we go. That's good. So we're gonna go back and find the item room because I haven't found that yet. And this is it's catacombs, so it's just slightly bigger, slightly tougher, but I need to find the uh, the item room really. Counts as a massive hindrance if you don't find the item room in this game. Also at early level it does seem to be a case that Let's try and get him here. There we go. Uh, just try and. That's a bit odd. Uh, it seems to be the case that. You know, the items are going to be major. And it really is lucky, depending on what you get. But then again, the game is much easier before the womb. Well, theoretically, I'm going to say that I'm going to die before. Even kill a mum, but I should be able to do this quite easily, to be honest. It's not a key and a bomb. It wasn't wasn't a bad trade, it wasn't the best though. I'm going to use the blood bank, I do like you playing the blood bank quite a lot, just purely if you get the blood bag it's a great bonus. I'm going to get red patch which is rage as well. Probably get down to one heart again, so it's not too hard to get back from. We really haven't much luck with these so just going to blow that up. There we go. And that makes the shop worthwhile as well. Probably going to get greed in the shop though, I guess. Oh no, that wasn't wasn't greed. So I'm going to go and get this. I'm going to get the spirit heart and I'm also going to get the red heart. 
so that wasn't too bad at all. So the map and the compass is going to give me. I'm just going to be able to see the massive layouts of all levels unless I get the darkness again, which hopefully is not going to be the case. Go in here and get the chest as well. Lots of coins, which is quite nice. I definitely need some damage though. I'm not sure what damage upgrades you actually get at the start of the game though. Uh, maybe stuff like pentagram. That might even be later actually. So this is going to be kind of a me experiencing the game a little bit again because you do take a lot of the stuff for granted once you get past a certain point because you just see it so consistently and especially like I say not fighting Sheil the devil boss um, after mum's heart um, I haven't really progressed past like I say the point where I can start getting more items and you know start seeing the chest and this sort of thing but so I'm going to kill these. I'm probably going to get the turrets. Oh no, I've got the heads. 30 heads. So yeah, like I say, I'm, I'm not going to be the best at these sorts of games, to be fair. But I'm going to be... I always get slightly confused about dodging sometimes. But I think everyone does at some point. But hopefully, like I say, we can experience it. Me developing through the game. Like I say, I'm up to a, a certain stage here, so we should get into mum, mum's heart and get into the womb isn't going to be too much of a difficult job by the by the looks of things. I think I'll probably even get to... Yeah, I think I, I probably will complete mum on this this playthrough. I'm looking at it, I've got quite a few spirit hearts, which, although I keep dropping them, quite a few spirit hearts alongside... Um, like I say, Bob's rotten head, which isn't actually that bad an item, although oh, that's me losing a stupid a bit of health again. Um, there we go. I'm going to use a bomber key here. Well, that worked out quite nicely. Got two bombs, one key, and lots of coins. I might even go back. Yeah, thank you, that'll do. So we've got a spirit heart back, which I lost. Oh, there we go. And see what's in the item room. Brother Bobby, not too bad. He's just a, another familiar. I've always wanted to have a mass run of familiars where I just get absolutely... Oh, that's annoying. Absolutely loads of familiars, but it never seems to happen. I get, you know, to a certain point and you never seem to get any more. Um, like I say, you, you get your, your one cube of meat usually, maybe in a a fly of sorts and if you're lucky one or two familiars like flat like, like brother Bobby or Chubb or something like that. Uh Abel. But yeah, you don't really get a mass amount which is quite frustrating. There we go, get him there. Or two. Didn't really hit him as much as I wanted him to there, but this is one of the champion versions I think. So it's going to be a little tougher. That was annoying. That was better. And he's going to go down shortly and get all the flies and spiders. Oh, stupid damage again. And we've got the Splunker's helmet, which lets you see three doors. And the Magic 8 Ball, which is tears up with the Empress, which isn't too bad a card. And we'll check them. And I'm going to go for the Mark, just because I. Uh, the pack, pack, sorry, just because I want the extra damage because I really need that and you get a couple of spirit hearts with it anyway I'm going to try the shop here and that, I haven't agreed so that was not massively unexpected ah stupid again just taking stupid damage so we're going to need to oh, we're going to need to not take stupid damage and again just purely because this is it I haven't got no way of regenerating spirit hearts got quite low health anyway So you just need to be really careful about taking damage. Although mum, mum's boss fight isn't difficult, it, he's going to be. That's nice. Uh, he's going to be awkward with, with what we've got at the minute. He's going to go one of these branches. Oh no, not maximum for me. I hate maximum for me. How has he hit me through there?
hate these. He's the worst boss in this, uh, worst mob in this game, just because it's so awkward. There we go. Yeah, just my nemesis. So I'm probably not going to talk too much when I face these them bosses, but uh, them mobs. I keep saying bosses. I like to think they're bosses. And he has actually got a boss version, which I've never faced yet, but I can imagine that would be. Uh, one of my uh, Achilles heels, I think is the correct word. Oh, I don't know, Bandit. Uh, that's close. Uh, it's going crazy. Ah, oh, stupid damage again. I think this is the thing. I haven't played it for a little bit, like I said, I've been ill. I um, haven't really played too many games. I think this is one of the. I'm going to use bomb here to get to judgment. Yeah, you do get out of the swing of things unless you play consistently. Steam cell, that is not a good item for me at the minute. Uh, well, we've got no shops, that's going to be absolutely useless. Uh, these hoppers, which teleport, are very annoying. I think I might die on this level, to be honest. Um, I'm just not got enough about me, I don't think. But I mean, with the Empress card, if we find yeah you know, a couple of spirit hearts, it could get better. Things could look up for us a little bit. But yeah, the Empress is going to give me a care status when I fight the boss with Bob's right on head. If I get a good connection with that. I'm kind of stuck here. There we go. I don't mind these too much. Oh, thank God he didn't have it coming out of his backside. There we go. Right. So I found the secret room, so we don't need to worry about that. It's just a case of getting the item room and the boss now. Um, boss is probably going to be one of the. Ah, oh, this is going to be a horrible room. It's going to be a very horrible room. Just out of the way of these. Oh, there you go. One more hit and I'm dead. Uh, that, that's it. Oh, that wasn't. I'm safe. I'm going to make it. Just. That was close. A Joker, which teleports me to. Demon or Angel Room. So I can't go for any of them, so that's a no. Uh, I really need something need something to, something to happen. I think if I run into the boss I am actually gonna take it. So if we run into the boss here we are gonna go for him. Just purely because I cannot afford to do this backtracking for the item room, which may not even be that great. Uh, that makes things a bit easier actually. If I get any spirit heart or anything like that, that might make things a lot easier. Oh, got stuck on that as well. Oh, come on. Help. Oh, this stupid damage again. Oh, I forgot I got rage. Ah, oh, there we go. Well, that's the first first go. That first one down. So, um, yeah, like I say, we're going to keep, keep going with these. Like I say, you should see me progress, hopefully, in the videos. I should get better and better. Like I say, going back to the, the first items, you take for granted what you actually have in there. Well, after you completed Mum a few times, really. But, yeah, it wasn't a bad run. So, uh, thanks, guys and girls, for watching. And hopefully see you soon.